The Canadian Pacific project was thought up by the Midhance Railway Preservation Society and it's a way in order to get their steam locomotive Canadian Pacific restored which will become the flagship of our railway. So Canadian Pacific and Swanage were actually designed by the same person. Uh, they were designed by Chief Mechanical Engineer um, Oliver Bullard, who worked for the Southern Railway. And Canadian Pacific is a particular type of class of engine. She's a Merchant Navy class engine. It was the first of set that was built. She was uh, the first ten out of Eastley Works in 1941. So built in the height of the Second World War. So a really important locomotive for us in looking at who was working there because she was built by, um, with the aid of a female workforce. So it's quite an important one for this year in the centenary in particular. Canadian Pacific is probably one of the most expensive uh, steam locomotives that we've had to restore. She's got countless issues, uh, particularly with the boiler, and this has uh, continuously racked up the price uh, in terms of restoration. Obviously the locomotive itself is, is extremely large and this poses another problem. To be honest, she's not only expensive to restore, she'll be expensive to run. She'll take five tonnes of coal a day. It's a rather excessive, most engines here take between two and three um, and that's obviously a hefty price tag. She ran, uh, last ran in 2008, so she's been out of service for a very long time. Um, after 2008 we obviously had to think about overhauling the locomotive and once we decided what to do with that locomotive it was moved down to Eastleigh by rail, hauled extremely slowly, uh, under 25 miles an hour, um, back down to Eastleigh where she's been ever since. Swanage is actually a West Country class, it's actually what we term a light Pacific. Swanage is a smaller and lighter version of Canadian Pacific. Uh, Canadian Pacific was rebuilt in 1959, so she no longer has her spam can casing or air smooth casing, whereas Swanage is the youngest uh, surviving West Country class, and she still has her spam can casing. They were built for mixed traffic working. Um, the whole design was originated with the idea that it would run mixed traffic trains. Uh, they never did in practice because they're very clearly express locomotives. But they're very powerful. They, the trains were about 15 coaches, things like the Bournemouth Bell, and very um, luxury dining, very heavy coaches, and they probably cost a bit to go on as well. So they were built for the top line southern um, operations. I'm going to be biased. My favourite engine is Canadian Pacific. Um, I suppose that is because I work on the engine or work on running the project. But for me, Canadian Pacific is special. She's the oldest and fastest surviving merchant navy. She's our flagship. And who doesn't like an engine that was helped to be built by women? It got itself a nickname, Canadian Pathetic, because it couldn't do very much. But it could do much. And later in life, it's one of the last ones running, and it clocked up 105 miles an hour. On the 15th of May 1965, just outside Winchester and Winchester Bank, so very local, she reached 105 miles per hour. So it's the fastest remaining fully Pacific. It's not the fastest ever um, by a mile an hour or so, but it's the fastest remaining one. So it's gone from being pathetic to being supersonic.